As England copped the pasting in the tabloids, Australia enjoyed the festive season like never before. But they were forced to make two changes for Melbourne. Shane Warne and Darren Lehman were both out injured, giving Stuart McGill another chance to torture the Poms, while elegant Queensland batsman Mark Love made his long-awaited debut. What an incredible boxing day it turned out to be, highlighted by yet another run feast for Australia's openers and a defiant innings from the under-pressure captain. Oh, he's hit that one. He's hit that one beautifully. Under the boundaries of four again. Well, that's to say about Justin Langer, he has come on when it comes to over-pitch deliveries. He does not go after them. Oh, how good is that? Goes a long, long way. It goes for six. Such is the power of this man. He's a great entertainer. Right coming around the wicket. He's right taking candy from child. He's gone straight through the line on the side of the line. Well, Hayden has just uh, arrogantly deposited that over mid wicket. That is a bad song for him. What happened to an ever knee problem? Also now over the wicket to Justin Langer. His left hand swapped it, but he's very fine at that short, fine net position there. But somehow, Justin Lane has found the gap. That's six. That is beautifully timed. Short. And once again, I've got that observed. Two short balls during the over. Six and a boundary. Well, the race is on for the 100. Lane 75. Hayden 81. And that's four more. That's out in that lack of respect. That shot. It's pretty meditated. He wasn't there. And he went through the, the shot anyway. Picked up another round here. Oh, that's a beautiful hit. Lucky. Miss Tron. You're lucky about that one. Maybe. Well, have been premeditated again. It was beautiful hit. Oh, cracks him over a little up. That's a sad result. But he's in the middle very clean. Thank you, mate. Not a bad delivery at all. Just outside off stump and hang dismissively, smashing it over long on for six. It's exactly the same replay of the shot that hit in the first session. 26 is. So far, two over long on to Craig White, and one over the back of Point. The four more. That's more than authentic. Back cut, beautiful play. Right in front, pick the gap. There it goes, he's hit that height, it's in the air. This is going to be out court, is it? No, it's not. Back for the second he comes, and this is going to be a century. Yes, it is. Matthew Hayden, 12 test centuries now, eight in Australia. This is his second at the MCG. He's third against England all of this series. Take him down, Matthew Hayden. And a record to 600 in a comedy year, never before done by Australia. Well, it's in the air, this is out, this is all over. Hayden's out, caught it off, surely, yes, he's gone. Well, he's trying to whip that one away on the onside, and well, I think there must have been a bit of front edge in that one. It's gone straight up in the air. And that brings an end to what has been an outstanding innings. And he and Lang are putting together a superb partnership. And he's hit that one uh, in the air, and uh, down the ground. And all the way. So another four, that takes him now. To 95. This will be a pretty special moment, I've got to tell you, for uh, Justin Langer. Oh, he's gone for it. This could be 100. This could be it. He's hit it for six. What a way to go. Justin Langer has smashed it to the boundary. He's gone for 95 in his century. That's his third in his century in this match cricket. Nice one here in Australia. The third against 
Six for 551 when Steve Waugh finally put England out of their misery after that monumental innings from Justin Langer. Gloves unbeaten 62, almost a footnote after all the excitement involving his higher profile teammates. In reply, it was a familiar story for England, facing a high class attack with plenty of momentum. And that one 156.2 kilometres an hour, and uh, that's as fast as he's ever bowled. Oh, that's out, that's out, that's got behind. Brent Lee's blistering pace had them ducking and weaving, and he was well supported by Gillespie and McGill. Oh, and he's caught it. That could be out. The winner be easy to get in. And even a rare appearance at the bowling crease by Wall. Ah! Big shot. Big one. He's getting in. Oh, he's broken through. He's caught in full. His first test been in four years for the captain. Very full delivery. Apart from some late hitting by Craig White, Everything was working for the Oz. Cracked, hit that. Right down to brilliant keeping from Adam Gould. Oh, and uh, that's it. That got behind. Beautifully taken. Gilchrist, the man there. An outside edge. And Gilchrist going across in front of first. That was taking the catch. And so there we are. Jason Gillespie ending, ending up with figures of 4 for 25. White's entertaining 85. Safe face but not the follow-on, as England trailed by 281. At least this time, England put up some resistance. Oh, well, that's a good Full catch, but he hit it so cleanly, and it superbly. We've seen a lot of full tosses not put away this year. It's a beauty. That's wonderfully well played. and very well taken Martin Love, that is a beauty that's gone quick and low to his left hand side and he's taking a stunning catch the first step to remove Mark Butcher that looked like absolute beauty Jason Leslie always testing the batsman with the backward slash right just on the back foot it's gone low, fast and it's got stuck in the left duke He's got him. Ben McGrath, his persistence has paid off, and he's got the England captain. What's he going to do? It's the spider. Split fingers. Ball comes out. Lavonges of the bat straight to Glenn McGrath. The delight of the Australians. They'll never give him. Plays that shot beautifully. He'll get his hundred here with a magnificent shot. That's his seventh test hundred. And he's six in 2002, and if he's played any better than that, I'm sorry I missed that in this. It was slow of water, well played, beautifully pulled, in front of square down to the boundary for four. Well, that's another example of uh, how good a of water is. Well, there's that full toss again, first ball, and he smashed that one. Oh yeah, all the way. Mind you, that's where it should go. It should go to the stand. Just uh, this long full toss that he bowls first up. Oh, nicely hit. Used his feet again. And once again, it goes all the way. It's his third six in this innings, Michael Boyle. And he's not going to be tied down. A couple of steps down the pitch to address. A couple of steps down the pitch. And over the off. Stuart McGill's now forced to go around the wicket. Try and tie down Michael Vaughan. Oh, and he's got in. He's got in for around the wicket. Six, four. McGill goes around the wicket and picks him up. And that is an enormous breakthrough for Australia. But a magnificent innings comes to an end. Drop there, a very difficult one. Trying to cut a little bit too close to the body. Martin Love's done a terrific job at first, and that was a difficult one. Yeah! Oh, that is brilliantly held from Martin Love. That is a screamer. That's going quickly from a back cut from James Foster, and Martin Love has taken another outstanding slip catch. And as 
of beauty. Once again, Vaughan showed his class, but he didn't get too much support as McGill made the most of his recall with five for 152. Chasing just 107, Australia had a few stumbles along the way, but the innings will be remembered most for one dramatic over faced by Steve Waugh. First, England failed to appeal for the faintest of edges. That, I think, is taking the outside edge. Well, I'm not sure that, in fact, there's a shake of the head there from the umpire. But it's definitely taken the edge. And he's caught. Well caught at mid-off. And it's a no ball. Umpire Orchard is standing there with his arm outstretched. Steve Waugh is 20 metres from the crease. Now, Justin Lang has caught his attention and he's been called back. What an unbelievable run here for Steve Waugh. The Barmy Army has cost England this wicket. There's too much noise out there. No one can hear a thing. And now he's smacking for four. What an unbelievable over that was. for 71. So only four to get on what has been a very exciting morning. It really has. Five Australians out. Only 103 on the board. Palmerson, he has a go at that one. It's running down towards the boundary. This should be it. Over the boundary rope it goes. The Australians have won the test match. They've won by five wickets and uh, now lead this test series 4-0 and go to Sydney with the prospect of an absolute team.